Axie Infinity Origin introduced a mechanic known as runes and charms. In order to be able to perform in the new game, it's important to know how this mechanic works. Each class has its own set of runes and charms, and in today's video, you'll learn all about runes, charms, and crafting in Axie Infinity Origin. Let's dive in. Runes and charms provide enough benefit to be a focus of your time in the game. Runes are going to be harder to get. As such, let's get into runes first. You can equip one rune per Axie as they are special wearable items that provide passive effects during battle. These effects will automatically activate and change drastically depending on the Axie class. Looking at a rune, you will notice at the top left is an icon showcasing what class the Axie is. Under the middle icon made for the rune, you will see the name of the rune. Finally, you have a description explaining how the rune works. Runes will be very important in Axie Infinity Origin. As far as we know right now, it will cost both SLP and a new token known as Moon Shards to obtain runes. As a Season 0 of Origin, it costs 1000 Moon Shards to get a chance to craft a rune. We'll go more into crafting in a second. As you climb up the leaderboards, you will be able to earn more and more Moon Shards. This will allow for you to create new runes to do more impact in Arena. I've heard that runes and charms will reset every season, but I'm not sure if that is confirmed yet. This means that you will have to constantly be grinding to afford these runes in order to have the competitive advantage that they provide. There are currently 29 runes available in the game. We'll be doing some theory crafting videos in the future, but hopefully this tool by Axie Tech can give you a good grasp on the runes that will be available in Axie Infinity Origin. Runes will have different rarity, and you know how rarities work. The higher the rarity, the more overpowered the ability will be. For example, during the very first Axie Origin reveal, Jeffrey Cam showed us an incredible overpowered mystic rune that Aquas could equip. This rune is called Heart of Ocean, and when equipped will give each Axie on your team a 75 additional HP. The overpowered thing about this rune is that the ability stacks, so if you have a triple Aqua team and they all have this rune equipped, each Axie will receive basically 300 HP, resulting in a team of 600 HP Aqua that are very, very hard to kill. This is how the rune plays in pre-alpha, so it may change as with all of these runes, but you get the idea. Runes are simply equipable items that will give you an edge during your game. They will be hard to get, but offer great abilities if you obtain one. I'm picturing a strat where you grind to obtain runes only if you want to go high up on the leaderboard. You can reinvest your earnings of SLP and Moon Shards to get runes and then begin immediately climbing to get even higher once you do. If you see my arena guide, you should know that in order to obtain runes, you will need to craft them with Moon Shards. Crafting level affects what kind of rarity of rune you can produce, so the more you're able to craft, the better runes and charms you can produce in a season. Be sure to check out my crafting guide as well. Right now, crafting isn't that important. Season 0 of Origin allows you to access all runes and charms for free, so have fun and come up with the best combos before July comes. Runes are equipped on an Axie and as of Season 0, you can equip the same rune onto multiple Axie of the same team as long as you have enough quantity to do so. Runes are crucial to winning games because the effects they provide can cause major miscalculations for your opponent and the strategy they had coming into the game. As of Season 0 of Origin, all runes and charms have been unlocked for free. Now is the best time to dive in to understand how they work and what combinations will be nice to have when you are grinding during Season 1. Let's move on to charms. There are a few distinct differences. Firstly, charms are attached to an Axie part. That means each card in your deck has the ability to have a charm equipped to it. Charms can provide many effects for your team, and just like with runes, the higher the charm's rarity, the better and more expensive it will cost to use. Each charm takes up a certain amount of points when equipped to a card. This is where potential points come in. Potential points determine how many charms your Axie can have equipped. I have a separate video going more into potential points, so this video doesn't get too long. Essentially, every Axie can have a maximum of 13 potential points. With each charm costing a certain amount of these points, you will have to use some strategy to figure out which charms you should allocate these points to. Going more in depth into the cost of runes and charms, we can see a lot of great things coming from them. Not only does this exponentially increase the amount of possible combinations you can make in the game in terms of deck building and theory crafting, but runes directly bring the first true SLP burning mechanism to Axie Infinity. Runes and charms can provide a great demand sink for SLP. The higher rarity runes will likely cost thousands or hundreds of thousands of SLP just to mint. With there being 8 ranks in origin and more energy to play more games, the competitive range will expand. 
These are just a few benefits of having runes and charms in the game, which is the first true vertical progression mechanism in Axie Infinity. If you don't know what any of that means or you're new to the ecosystem, make sure to check out some of the videos on my channel to understand better what Axie Infinity is and how the economy works to make you, the player, the true owner of all of your assets. I hate speculating, so only time will tell, but runes and charms will, without a doubt, be one of the most important mechanics in Axie Infinity Origin. Though I was originally going to do crafting in this video, Origin made it so that all runes and charms are available in Season 0, so I do not see a point in going over crafting right now, but in the future I will do a detailed guide. Hit that like button and press that big red subscribe button to see more of my videos in the future. You won't regret it. As always, I love you guys, and keep going.